Hi, Adidas here. In today's video, we're going to show how to set up Apple Main Stage using the Roland FA Series Workstation. Let's get started. So all the topics covered in today's video will work in all FA Series Workstations. That's the FA06 61 note, FA07 76 note, and the FA08 88 note. So this is the first of two setup videos we're going to use to show how to set up Apple Main Stage inside the FA Series Workstation. In this example, we're going to set up the Apple Main Stage using the FA's DAW control. Uh, in the next video, we're going to show how to hook it up uh, using the FA internal engine and the Main Stage engine simultaneously. Okay, so let's get started using uh, the FA's DAW control and Main Stage. So before we begin, make sure you have the necessary drivers inside your Apple computer. So let's begin by going to the Roland website. I'm going to go to products and I am going to go to synthesizers. Once I'm in synthesizers, I am going to go into the performance workstation section and I'm going to go into the FA06, FA07, FA08. Let's just choose one of the models now and get those drivers that we need. So once in the product page, uh, we need to go over to the download section. So let's go ahead and click on downloads. And as you see here, we go to the updates and driver section. So make sure you go to this page and download the appropriate driver for your Apple, but also make sure your FA has the appropriate operating system, which is currently 2.0. Once we download and install all of these updates and drivers into your computer, we're ready to begin. Now that we've gone to the website and downloaded the, the appropriate drivers and operating system, let's go to system preferences inside your MacBook. Let's go to the sound section. Now let's select the FA as our sound output so we can run MIDI and audio through the FA. So I have that selected here. I'll exit out of here. Now we're ready to open up Apple Main Stage. Okay, now that we have Apple Main Stage open, let's do a couple of things. First off, let's go down to the audio output and let's switch this from built-in output to the FA output. This will make sure that all the audio coming from Apple Main Stage is routed through our FA workstation. Now let's go ahead and choose uh, some keyboard rigs. Now for my example, I'm just going to use uh, the Alchemy rig and just have that in here and I'll go ahead and choose it and let it load up now. Now remember, I'm just using that particular concert uh, just to get us started. You can go ahead and create your own concert with your own custom patches and everything that we're going to see today will still work the same. Okay, now that I have this untitled concert open, let's go ahead and press the DAW control on the FA. Right away you see that we have the control map right in here and there's different control maps we can go ahead and do. And I'm going to go ahead and select the controller map. Now currently you see it's, it's set to local off and transmit channel is on one. So let's go ahead and play the FA and see if it already reacts with main stage. Absolutely. So let's try another sound right here, maybe uh, Celestial Voices. So I'll select it here. Great. So you see the FA is already reacting with Apple Main Stage. So let's take a look at what else is going on here. Now we have all the different knobs and sliders. Let's go ahead and, and look. So local switch is off, which means the internal sound engine of the FA is turned off. Transmit, it's transmitting on channel one, which is fine. And then we have the S1 and S2 buttons, which can be assigned for whatever we want. And we have the cutoff knobs. See, so we have the four, uh, the six knobs. And look at that, knob number six is already designated for volume. So let's go ahead and turn this knob and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the knob on the FA. And look at that, without even any assignments, it's the output for main stage, very quick. So I can go ahead and turn it all the way down and just start playing. Very quick, that was pretty cool. So we really didn't have to do anything. We just pretty much turned on DAW control and then knob number six is already assigned as volume uh, and it's already reacting to main stage. Also don't forget if we hooked up a sustain pedal and a volume pedal, they're already set up for main stage as well. Uh, let's take a look at our pitch bin and let me go ahead and turn this to performance mode so you can see a little bit better. If I do my pitch bin, if I move my pitch bin, notice on main stage, 
it's already moving. And if I push my pitch bend forward, the modulation is reacting. Very cool, right in there. Now, what if I want to go ahead and change patches? Let's see if we can go ahead and assign that now. Uh, let me, so let's get back. Let's exit and we'll go to edit. And I'm going to go to layout. And I want the patch, I'm going to assign the patch up and down to the S1 and the S2 buttons. Let's see if we can do that now. So I'll go ahead and have touch there. And I'm going to tell it it's going to be the FA DAW controller. Great. And i making sure. Yeah, I'm getting MIDI. Now let's press assign. Great. So that's there. Now let's do the other one. Assign down. Make sure it's also a MIDI port DAW control. And I'm going to hit assign. And great. And now let's go back to performance and see if we set it up correctly. All right, so let's go ahead and cursor down. Perfect. And then we can cursor right back up. So as you can see, assigning the patches up and down is very easy. Now let's go one step further. Let's press enter on the control template and let's go ahead and delete it. And we're going to call this one maybe main stage so we can have that as a template anytime. So we know exactly when we're using uh, this template, it's going to work seamlessly with main stage. So very quickly, I'll just change it real quick in here. Now I'm just going to press the right button. And yes, I am sure. And OK. So as you see, setting up Apple Main Stage inside the FA, uh, inside the DAW control is very, very easy. Go ahead and give this a try. So anytime you want to use the FA as a controller for Apple Main Stage, you can do it very easily and just plug right in and you're all set to go. Real quick, make sure you download the associated drivers for your Apple MacBook and also make sure your FA is updated to 2.0 operating system. So anytime you want to use the FA as a controller with the Apple Main Stage, you're all set to go. Okay, try this out and I'm sure you're going to love it. Take care.